And there we go. So we're in the kitchen with Mr. Michael Willif here this morning, and we are doing some interesting dishes with asparagus this morning. And and I was talking to Alana earlier, Michael. I don't really eat asparagus because I have I don't make it at home because yeah. I'm not exactly sure how to make it. I've eaten yeah. it because it's been put there, yeah. but I don't know how to make it. So I'm hoping you're going to teach me a thing or two. Good. Well, I think the nicest way to eat it is with melted butter or with a hollandaise sauce if you're just having it. Okay. If you're just having it straight. All but right. a couple of things. First of all, the, the different kinds of asparagus. Yeah, just teach this us is, a little bit. This is what's called white asparagus. All right. And what's what they the... do, what they do, it's essentially the same, the same plant. But what they do, just hold that. Okay. What they do is they they bank the soil up around it like that, oh. so that no sunlight gets on it, so that it doesn't turn green. Oh wow! So there's no photosynthesis and, taking absolutely. place. Absolutely. And so this is, I mean, this is a hugely popular. Thing in Europe, particularly France and Germany, they sort of wait for the for the white asparagus season. Is they the same? Are they the same? More taste? or less the same sort of taste. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, so how would you go about preparing this? Is this the, the, okay. the one that we all this know? This is the one that we all know. And yes. this, and this, I mean, this obviously, um, you know, grows in full sunlight. Yes. And they grow at the most amazing rate. I mean, literally in a day, that that will happen. Wow. And they normally grow in quite sandy soil. So what you have to do is this little flower at the end here, yeah. um, that could have a lot of soil, um, soil in it. So just soak this barracks in slightly warm water first. Okay, so that'll release the soil. Absolutely. And, and then uh, one of the things that, that you can do is if you, if you snap it like that, yeah. it's, it's, it snaps off exactly at where the, the woodiness ends and the, and the soft part oh, starts. Oh, really? Yeah. So you want to snap off the so bottom you, part? You want to snap off the bottom part. And this, of course, you could use to flavor soup and things like that. Sauces. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Then um, what I like to do is I like to peel. Okay. And I peel right from the top. Is this a must do or? No, this is not a must do. Is it? Um, this is just this is just a, a, a sort of a, a, a nice thing to do. A nice thing to do. Yeah. Okay. And um, what you can do here, of course, is that once you've peeled it, you can actually cut it and use it in salad. Okay. Um, you can just cut it just like this. Yes. And then use it in a salad. Just cut it into thin, sort of on the diagonal like that. Okay. Um, and you can use it in stir fries, um, Chinese stir fries. Yes. Um, but really, really a, a absolutely okay. lovely So how would you, how, lovely how, what is the cooking process? Or the how, how the cooking process that? is quite simple. Um, what we do is we just, we just take the elastic bands off. Okay. And then you can snap the ends off if you like. Yeah. Um, if you don't like, you don't have to. All right. And then you just pop the asparagus into the into the boiling water. All right. And you leave it there probably for 10 or 20 seconds. And then you take it out and you stop the cooking by plunging it into, yes. into iced water. If you're going to serve it immediately as a hot asparagus dish with some melted butter mm -hmm. or a hollandaise sauce, then obviously you just cook it a little bit a little bit further. further. Pop it onto a plate, pour the butter Brilliant. all the hollandaise days over. Yeah. Well, there we go. The ins and outs of asparagus. Michael, Absolutely. thank you so much. After the break, Pleasure. Michael is making us a goat's cheese and asparagus risotto. It's going to be beautiful. Stay tuned. We found goodness in Goed Gedacht Olive Oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you. Get tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Thanks for tuning in on this Feel Good Monday morning. Now, just before the break, Chef Michael, if he taught us a thing or two about asparagus, because that's what we're using in our kitchen today. And right now, we're about to kick off with a goat's cheese and asparagus risotto. Michael, I'm excited for this one because, Good. like I say, I'm not, I don't eat asparagus that much, but I'm, I'm keen to keen to try it in different recipes. Uh, good. Well, we've got some cool. olive oil in the in the pot there. Lovely. And I'm adding some. Some leeks. Okay. And a bit of garlic. Some leeks and garlic. Yep. Nice. Turn it up. Hot on. Of go. course, you can make your own ghost cheese and asparagus risotto at home by SMSing the keyword fresh to 33728. And we'll it's, it's in there. It's in the new fresh living. Yeah. It's in the new fresh living. And by SMSing the keyword fresh to 33728, we'll not only send you the pick and pay shopping list and the link to the recipe, but you'll be entered into the draw to win yourself a six month subscription to the Fresh Living magazine filled with the great recipes. Good. Now, oh, what wow, that <coughs> garlic releasing it just isn't it amazing. Now we it just smells healthy. Saute the leeks for a little while. Um, what I would do, we ha I don't have the time to do it now. Yes. But what I would do at home is I would have the temperature down and okay. I would cook the leeks for quite a while. Okay. Because they, they when they when they cook, they they really cook down into this delicious, um, flavorful. Okay. Um, sort of almost yes. like mash. Okay. Right now we've got risotto rice. This is a special rice which is grown um, in Italy. 
Yes. And perfect for, for risottos. Also makes a damn nice rice pudding. <laughs> oh, I'm sure of that. I'm sure that you're going to have to come and show us that one. Absolutely. All right. Now, so one, of the, just... one of the tricks about um, risotto rice yes. is that you have to heat it through. Okay. So you have to stir it around and get as much of the oil around the rice as possible. Okay. And then, he then heat it through. Because if you do that, it receives the liquid um, much more easily. And it gives off its starches more easily. Now, that and, is a great tip. Yeah, and those starches are what you want to make that lovely creamy sauce. Okay. And then you get some, what, what do we put Good, in and next? Here, this, is some, this is some white wine. Some white wine. Some white wine. And what you do is you just, you see, you see it's, the rice starts going slightly transparent. Yes. Okay, so now we pop the wine in. Mm. And that and risotto just, will just absorb that now. Actually. It'll start, yeah, and, and obviously it's going to cook away yes, as well. Yes. But you can see that the, the liquid's already gone cloudy, and that's from the starch that's, I see. that's, that's around the these now. Yeah. And one of the other tricks about, um, uh, about risotto is you have to stir it. Okay, you have to constantly stir it. And you can't go it. away and then come back and give it a little stir. You have to stir it because the more you stir, um, the more starch gets given off and the smoother and creamier. Okay. Well, I'll um, tell you that. Why don't I take care of your stirring for you? Okay. And then you can keep going. So it's, making risotto is definitely a hands-on approach. And then you've got some nice hot stock. That's it. And you put that in and you put that in ladle for ladle. Yes. So how and would you know when it's enough? What well, I think the at? thing is that, that if you follow the recipe, yes. it's going to give you the ratio of rice okay. to stock. And you need to you need to cook it fairly slowly so that your rice gets cooked. And just watch. That's uh, what I do is I just watch the rice all the time. Okay. And you can you can bite a little kernel, and if it's got a little white centre, you need to cook it for a little, little bit, bit more. more. Yeah. Of course, for uh, your pick and bake shopping list this morning, SMS the keyword fresh to three three seven two eight. We'll send you on the pick and bake shopping list as well as a link to the recipe, and you'll be entered into the draw to win yourself a pick and bake fresh living magazine six month subscription, and you'll find some great recipes in that magazine as well. Good. Okay. So now we're going to add there goes asparagus. asparagus and some Tartin. peas. And mm. it doesn't matter if they're frozen, yes. if they're frozen they solid because it's, it's going to work. Oh, and then right at the end, uh, once we've got the whole thing cooking, yes. then we, we put in our, goat our cheese. grated cheese. Is that the goat cheese? No, that's Not the, yet. Normal no, cheese. That's normal cheese, yeah. Okay. So here we've got now the complete risotto. Okay. You see how lovely and creamy that is. And it's thickened up nicely. Yeah. Oh, and it smells good as well. So what I'm going to do quickly here is just pop in this little this little pat of butter. Okay. And stir that through. And that of course just also helps with the sort of creaminess of the yes. of the risotto. Beautiful. There we go. And time for dishing up, I see. And then we'll just oh, so, so just right at the end, a little lump of butter. Yeah. And then oh, just and look at that. And this was fairly quick and easy. I must it be is honest. absolutely right. right. So now we've got we've got some fried mushrooms and all the add-ons gone. And, oh, yeah, look at that. and then we've got some. These are the asparagus tips. Do you remember we've put the stalks yes, in there? Yes. Yes. So these are the asparagus. Those have just tips. been boiled, or what? Those have just been boiled. Um, you can fry them in a pan if you like. Yes. And here we have some some chives. Look at that. Yes, I'll tell you what, while we, finish up, while we finish up our dish, we, if you have missed any of the steps we took in creating this beautiful goat's cheese and uh, asparagus risotto, here we go once again. Saute leeks and garlic. Toss in rice and stir. Add wine, then reduce. Add hot stock, a ladle at a time and stir until absorbed. Stir in asparagus stems and peas and heat through. Add parmesan, goat's cheese and butter. Serve topped with mushrooms, asparagus, goat's cheese, herbs, and drizzle with truffle oil. And that keyword, once again, fresh to 3378, will send you on the shopping list, as well as the link to the recipe, and you'll be entered into the draw to win yourself a six-month subscription to the Pick and Pay Fresh Living Magazine. Michael, so we finished our dish. You put the goat's cheese on now. Yeah, absolutely. And look, that looks Does it look amazing. That yeah. looks so great. I have to taste that. Will you keep stirring? Because yeah. I've been stirring all this time. Yeah, we can quickly have a taste here. With some goat cheese. Mm. 
You know, somebody actually asked on our Facebook the other day, do you ever make something on the show that is not nice? Okay. Yeah, I have go. not experienced that besides for we liver. Don't. Besides <laughs> for liver, I've not experienced <laughs> everything here is great. This is really tasty. You it's can nice feel all dish. those flavors coming out. Michael, yeah. this is very, very nice for a breakfast for me this morning. Oh, Thank good. you so much. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> the three, three, seven to eight. Make your own ghost cheese and asparagus risotto. Have you done your spring cleaning yet? No. 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 That's very bad. That's very bad. Oh, We're halfway through September. But I think spring only starts at the end of September. No, down here in Cape Town. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, we're going to help you actually getting rid of that clutter at home. We found goodness in Goed Gedacht Olive Oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay. Always there for you.